Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm here today um, with a different video. Uh, my hopes today is to um, have a little chit chat with you guys, uh, sort of catch up on where I've been, what I've been doing, and also to give myself a chance to thank all of you guys. Uh, so I've recently reached over 3,000 subscribers and I'm super thrilled about that. So at the end of this video, um, there'll be I'll be showing you some of the things that um, I hope to be sending to one of you uh, as a giveaway. So I actually have three of them and it's just some of what I'm going to be sending. Um, but I don't want to give it all the way, but I'll show you what, what you've got. Okay, so first of all, I just want to start off by saying that um, I just was recently on vacation with my husband and my two sons. We went to Cuba for a week. Uh, we got back on Wednesday. Um, we had a great time. It was super hot. It was uh, 33 degrees there uh, as compared to the ice storm that we're having here in Canada right now. Uh, it's freezing here. <laughs> but uh, it was super hot. I got super burned. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but a lot of me is burned like that. Um, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. Uh, we had a great time. And um, so before we went on the trip, I did a little bit of research on things that uh, we could see and do. And we were in a resort, uh, but um, I wanted to go into Holguin. We were close to Holguin in Cuba. And um, so I was looking on the internet and I came across uh, a paper maker, a man who makes paper by hand uh, through uh, recycled newspapers and scraps and bits that he goes to get. I guess from some recycling depot or maybe people bring it to him. Not exactly sure how it all works. Um, he spoke only Spanish or Cuban, so I, being Italian, could kind of catch on to what he was saying, uh, but I didn't get it all. But I got the gist of it, so I really wanted to go see him and see where he worked. He seemed like a fascinating person and was doing some really beautiful creative things uh, in his shop and so one day I don't know I think it was Tuesday Monday or Tuesday we took a taxi and we went into Holguin into the city and I found the man that I had seen online and he was very very excited to ha excited to have us there uh, I don't know how many people actually visit him but um, he has a shop where he like I said, makes all his own paper. And I'll show you. Um, so anyway, before I get to that, I just want to tell you that he is also like a printer. He does all the printing for everybody there. He actually made documents for when the Pope visited to bless uh, Holguin City. Uh, and I believe the Pope took those papers that he created back to the Vatican. And... Um, he was very excited to tell me all of that stuff. So he has old machines, old equipment there, like super old, I believe. Uh, my son has the pictures, but I believe the equipment is originally from Ohio, came in from Ohio. And uh, some of the pieces are from the 1800s, 1816, 1900s. And he uses those pieces of equipment to um, print. And he creates these metal blocks with all the little letters on them and he painstakingly puts the stuff all together and sometimes to print just one sheet or like even you know that many words could take hours if not days if not I don't even know so it's it's just really an awesome craft that he he does and uh, I was just so honored to see him and he really left an impression on me and uh, I'm addicted to paper. I've said that before. I love the way paper feels and looks and smells and sounds. And I just, I love everything about paper. And to meet this man was just really, he really touched my heart. And I think that maybe we touched his a little too because there were some tears towards the end. So um, anyway, so he has this old, old machine that he I believe it was like a washing like a washing machine part or some kind of thing that he got from Russia, if I understand correctly. And he swishes all of the paper around um, into like a paste. Uh, and then 
um, he adds some sort of liquid and it all ends up in this big bin where it becomes like a like a paste and he soaks the paper the bits of paper and this lick water and some sort of chemical and then um, um, strains it onto like a a sifter kind of thing and he has different shapes um, not shapes but um, sizes they're square uh, made out of wood I believe and then have like a screen so he just coats that screen with some of this paste and then I don't he dries it and then it eventually becomes you know paper and all I know all you see really right now is white um, I purchased five sheets from him and he gave me one for free which I thought was as you guys know uh, it's very very uh, I like to say the word poor, but it's, you know, they don't have a lot of money, so I wasn't going to let them give it to me for free, so I paid for it, and it was very inexpensive, so these are quite large um, sheets, and so I had six of them. I gave one to my dad, because my dad uh, is an artist too, and the paper is just beautiful. It's super thick, and he was very, very happy because... He says that he shows it shows watermarks and uh, in fact if you hold it up to the light in some places you can see it so he was pretty happy about that so I was thrilled to have this that I actually got to meet him and see him I'm sorry if I'm rambling but I it was just a beautiful part of my trip and I'll never forget him as long as I live I hope to be able to send something to him this is a book that he made it's actually made out of banana skin banana paper and so it's like a little journal and this is his paper um, here and he did some painting and it's just so beautiful I had to have it I think I paid eight uh, pesos for this book and all of the sheets of paper I gave him more than eight but um, that's what he asked and inside is just filled with um, his paper that he made so I cannot wait to make myself a journal with this. Uh, this journal is about five and a half by seven. So our standard, like it's just perfect, just perfect. Um, this is his card. He made his own cards, obviously. Um, so that's, he's Papiro, I guess that's paper. Uh, that's him. Uh, made by hand and it was just awesome awesome to meet him like I said left a real impression on me and I'll never forget him so now that I've shown you that um, I just wanted to say to all of you guys um, how blessed and honored I am to have you all in my life uh, as my subscribers and friends and just to say thank you to all of you for, uh, you know, teaching me every day through your videos and through your creativity. You guys are awesome. Um, I can't imagine before not making videos. Um, I, I just love it. I love to be able to make videos and I love to be able to share. And um, it's, you know, really great part of my life. And so are you guys. So I just want to say a very heartfelt thank you to all of you um, for helping me reach 3000 subscribers. I hope to keep on going. I hope to um, have some more things to share with you. Uh, I haven't said it yet and it's not completely official, but I hope to be looking towards an Etsy shop in the near future. We'll see how that goes in terms of time because I still work full time right now and um, we'll see how that goes. So uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you. I love all of you guys and I think you're fantastic and your comments, are, there's never a bad thing and you guys always have the nicest things to say and I just want to say thank you for that. Um, so with that, I have a giveaway. And sorry about that glare there. Oh, and I just wanted to mention, maybe you noticed that I have my old camera back. Uh, bless my husband's heart, bought me a new camera at Christmas. And I don't like it at all. Um, 
So it was actually it's a Garmin and not a was it a, a verb X and it's more for like a, how do you call it like a GoPro kind of thing. And um, so it wasn't really good for videoing purposes. I found it very dark. I didn't like the fisheye sort of view and I was really having a hard time with it. I tried to make it work and um, my husband's got such a good heart and he, he really didn't care one way or the other. He just, we actually used it on our trip and it was fantastic for them, you know, snorkeling and stuff like that. So it is gone and I am gone back to my old camera. So I hope this is better, brighter. Uh, um, so we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys um, think about going back to this. Maybe in the future I'll look at something else, but I'm okay with this right now. And I did get some comments on it, and I'm sorry if uh, it, you know, my past videos were a little bit hard to watch. I apologize for that. So hopefully I have will correct that. So this is my old camera back. So uh, like I said, I have three um, sort of packages put together. I'm going to call this the yellow one. There's um, orange. They're all the same. It's just I tied them up and packaged some of the stuff in a different color. And uh, there's a blue one here. And this is just some of what I'll be sending you. This is more geared towards um, fabrics. And you've seen a lot of these before. They're already packaged and ready to go. But... Um, this is a piece of every sari that I had purchased um, the last time I had been to the thrift store. And uh, so there's a lot of colors there. I tried to give, uh, you know, a good piece of each so that you would be able to do something with it. And there's the piece of that really beautiful applique, uh, sewn hand stitch applique there. And so I made a little bundle of that. You'll also get... Um, some laces, vintage laces and trims, uh, and a bunch of other little goodies in there. And here are a couple of packages inside of things. I'm not going to give it away. And um, there'll be, so this is just kind of a little glimpse as to some of the things that you're going to get. Um, there'll be more. So I don't want to, I don't want to give it all away. So I just want it to be a surprise. Um, so all you have to do to enter the giveaway this time is uh, obviously, you know, be a subscriber, um, uh, like this video, and also I want to know who's been a major influence or what has been maybe it's something maybe it's a person maybe it's a place a thing i don't know but um what's influenced you in terms of your art and your creativity to uh, or has someone left an impression on you um that just makes you want to keep going with your your art and your artistic abilities um is it someone that you met uh just like me like uh I have two. My dad is a major influence on um, me being an artist. He wasn't, he's an artist himself. He hasn't painted since he was a kid. And then recently after he got sick, um, something triggered him and he just felt compelled to go back to painting. And so he's recently just started painting again, starting to draw and Although he says he lost his touch, I think with a little practice, he'll get back into it. So he always pushed me to, uh, you know, find my creative self. And I think I have. And um, so he's one. And then there's like little things along the way, like this man that I met in Cuba in terms of his paper making and just the joy that he has in, in doing that. And he's really left an impression on me just to keep going forward and... Um, just do what I love to do. So I want to know from you guys if you've ever met anybody like that, if you have somebody like that in your life, um, what's the deal? I want to know. So uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll let this this uh, giveaway go on until maybe a week and we'll try next weekend, possibly the 20, what is that, the 22nd of April, Sunday. Hopefully I can get around to it and we will pick three winners three winners 
for this giveaway, okay? Um, and that's it. So that's all you have to do. Be a subscriber, like the video, comment, let me know uh, what you guys think. And, um, and I hope you guys win. Somebody's going to win. Three of you will. And um, so again, thank you guys all so much. I really appreciate you all. And um, let me know if this camera is any better. And that's it. So be well, be safe, and take care, you guys. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye.